Safekeeping Wisconsin, for our kids and learning communities. Where and when to safely use chemical cleaners and disinfectants. Do you know the difference between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting? When it comes to keeping school communities safe, be sure to use the right product for the task at hand. Cleaning removes dirt and some germs. Soap and water usually do the trick. You'll get even better results when you use a microfiber cleaning cloth dampened with water. Sanitizing reduces even more germs and is most effective after thorough cleaning. Disinfecting kills almost all germs and is also most effective after cleaning. When devising your plan for cleaning and disinfecting your school, start by making a list. Faucets, toilet flush handles, door handles, locker handles, pencil sharpeners, bubblers. These hard surfaces are most touched on a frequent basis. If you're in an early childhood center, your list might also include toys and changing tables. Add to your list the best method for cleaning. Be sure to determine the appropriate cleaning method for the surface. Surfaces should be cleaned daily and more frequently if certain conditions apply that can increase the risk of infection from touching surfaces. Disinfectants should only be used where necessary, preferably in the evening, to limit children's exposure to chemicals and allow the appropriate contact time to increase germ-killing effectiveness. Keeping schools safe is everyone's responsibility. Parents can help by supplying fragrance-free baby wipes, paper towels, and hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol content. Never send disinfecting wipes, which contain chemicals that can trigger asthma and adverse health effects. At home, sanitize your child's cell phone and other hard surfaces such as books and pens. Most important, don't forget to wash your hands. Safekeeping Wisconsin, for our kids and learning communities. For more information, visit our website.